If you're about to undergo cataract surgery and you're uncertain as to whether or not you need laser-assisted cataract surgery or standard manual cataract surgery, let's explore some of the differences and advantages and disadvantages of both. Hi, my name is Dr. Joshua Cohen. I'm a board-certified ophthalmologist at Cohen Laser Vision Center. Cataract surgery is the removal of the natural lens, the entire natural lens, and what's left behind is a thin membrane or a capsule that supports the new lens. And for more information about cataracts in general, I will link to my previous video here. But laser cataract surgery, or FLAX, or femtosecond laser-assisted cataract surgery, is becoming more popular, and there are reasons why it might be something to consider and reasons why you may not want to consider it. But generally, cataract surgery is still done by hand by your surgeon and ophthalmologist, but certain steps of the procedure can be assisted by the laser, hence the laser-assisted cataract surgery. And let's talk about each of those steps in detail. So the first step for cataract surgery is the main incision. And that incision is done basically by making a specialized cut with an instrument, either, either a special knife or with the laser. And the reason for that is because we have to gain access into the eye. So we need to make a wound that will be constructed in a way that will be self-sealing and that will gain enough access so the lens that is kind of folded up can slide into the eye and that maintains the uh, pressurization of the eye so that it's watertight and sealed uh, and safe. And we often need two, at least two different incisions, one for each hand to allow each instrument to gain access to the eye, and also sometimes to provide both irrigation and aspiration to the point where the fluidics of the eye are maintaining a constant pressure. We don't want to vacuum stuff out of the eye without replacing it with special fluids. And those fluids can be obviously saline or salt water, or it can be what's called a viscoelastic, which is a kind of gelatinous type substance that has certain uh, properties and buoyancies that, again, maintain the fluidics of the eye so that you can do the surgery safely and protect structures in the eye, like the cornea and the iris. The next step is called the capsular rexus, or the opening of the capsule to gain entry into the middle where the nucleus of the cataract is, or the main structure of the cataract is. So that can be done by laser. And you can see here that the laser does a nice perfect circle, so it's nice to maintain centration and to ensure that the capsule is done very, very well. Whereas if you do it manually, as you can see here, this is, again, requires a lot of dexterity by the surgeon, and the sizing can sometimes be variable, but the structural integrity of the capsule window by hand, um, some studies suggest might be a little bit stronger than with the laser, but for the most part, that is not something that really comes into play all that often. But if you want perfect centration, the laser technically does a little bit better job, uh, but both can be done effectively, and that is just another step that the laser can assist with. The next step in cataract surgery is fragmentation of the lens, where how do we break the lens up into small enough pieces to remove them safely from the eye? And that's done with modern machinery called a phaco emulsification machine, which has both a vibration mechanism that basically goes into the lens and kind of fragments it, but also aspirates or sucks the material out more or less at the same time. Whereas what, ha what can happen with laser assisted surgery is when the laser does its thing before you go into the operating room, the laser will kind of fragment the uh, lens into different pieces that are more easily broken up so less energy is needed uh, when you use the phaco machine. You still need the phaco machine for laser assisted surgery, but because it's already been broken up, you need less energy. It's a little easier to remove generally. And that can promote faster healing time. And it can also reduce stress on other tissues, like I mentioned the iris and the cornea, which can limit corneal swelling or corneal edema and accelerate visual recovery. So that is another advantage of flax over manual surgery. But again, it doesn't always mean that that's the case. With expertly performed manual cataract surgery, the energy usage can still be quite low and the recovery can still be fast, but it often is a little bit slower than with laser-assisted surgery. Now, if you have a really dense lens, uh, if you have very mature cataract, if you've waited a long time to get your surgery, then laser-assisted surgery is really helpful at this stage because it will help break it up and require less manual effort to break through the lens. So sometimes for those patients, it might be a little bit safer. Similarly, if you have other complicating factors, a condition called pseudo-exfoliation, where the zonules that supports the lens, I talked about that in my previous video on presbyopia, which I'll link up here. But if those zonules get weakened by pseudo exfoliation, then those fibers uh, can stretch and become a little bit less structurally sound. So the whole lens platform can kind of vibrate and move and more stress and more energy that you put into the cataract can complicate the stability of the zonules as well, 
which can lead to the whole capsule complex uh, dislocating or subluxing, which is a uh, challenging thing to uh, fix. But nonetheless, um, that is a reason, again, to use femto-assisted surgery for patients with pseudoexfoliation. Now, the next step is removal of the lens. And as I mentioned, usually once the lens is broken and fragmented, which can either be done by hand, then the lens material is aspirated with the FACO emulsification machine. Now, in other countries where you don't have a FACO emulsification machine at all, you can basically take the entire lens out in one large incision. Um, but that's a whole different style of surgery that is done uh, generally not routinely here in the US. And it does require a little bit different types of equipment. That is a, a topic for another discussion. But just so you know, if, if you're in a part of the world where this, these expensive equipment options may not be available, you can still get very safe cataract surgery uh, without some of these techniques and certainly without the laser as well. But once the lens material is removed, then the new lens is put into the eye and that's done the same, whether you had laser or you had manual surgery. And that's because the lens implant itself is kind of slid in through the wound that was constructed. And you can see it's kind of folded up like a, like a little taco or burrito, I guess. And then it kind of opens up. And basically once it, when it opens up, it has these little haptics that kind of unfold into the eye. And basically the lens can be then rotated into position like this particular lens has these little markers. So if it's an astigmatism correcting lens, you orient it in the right location. And if you happen to uh, need that, then laser assisted surgery is also beneficial. And also the laser can treat different variations of astigmatism magnitude because of uh, laser LRIs or limbo relaxing incisions uh, done through the laser. So these are little arcuate incisions done in the periphery of the cornea that will treat the astigmatism by flattening it in that uh, particular orientation and will also treat the astigmatism. And that really can also be done by hand, but it's a little bit more precise if done with the laser. So that is something to be aware of. If you have an astigmatism, you might want to consider flax. So in general, who would want to consider flax surgery? Well, basically anyone needing a upgraded lens, like a toric lens or multifocal lens where centration and orientation is absolutely paramount, the laser assisted uh, surgery can be a little bit more precise for those patients. For patients with really dense lenses, then again, flax is a little bit better because it helps the surgeon break the lens up without manual manipulation of the lens, which can be a little bit safer. Or if you have a risk of the lens structure or stability, like if you have Marfan syndrome or pseudoexfoliation, where these zonules themselves may be compromised, then again, flax is sometimes better. But again, it really depends on you and the surgeon kind of making the choice together to proceed with surgery. And your doctor will discuss with you what the advantages and disadvantages are, and you can make an informed decision as to what is right for you. Today, flax is not covered by insurance, so it is more expensive uh, to elect to have cataract surgery with the assistance of a laser. Uh, so that is also something to consider. Oftentimes for patients who are getting upgraded lenses like toric or multifocals, sometimes those uh, prices can be bundled in, but it is something to be aware of and that might vary depending on where the surgery is done and who's doing your surgery. But overall, both cataract surgery with and without the laser are safe, effective procedures with excellent visual outcomes. And if you need a cataract, you basically have to get it out at some point or else it's just going to continue to get worse. If you are curious as to whether or not the laser is right for you, then talk to your doctor about it. If you've had cataract surgery or laser assisted cataract surgery, please share your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out. Our website is cohenlaser.com. So thanks again for your time and I will see you in the next one.